good. Let's do it. Good evening, my name is Pluske and welcome back. I'm happy to have you here. Today I went to 7-Eleven and I got these. Now we're going to talk about bike stuff, but first, this is a treasure. These are pancakes that you can buy at 7-Eleven Japan. If you ever miss home, if you're from the States and you miss IHOP or Denny's or or just a good pancake house, you can't find a replacement here, unfortunately. But, this is the very, very, very ne best next thing we have here. And these guys are fantastic. And look, they reduce the price to 93 yen, so that it, evenly, it costs an even 100 yen. So it's like, a, it's like reducing the price to 93 cents, so it's an even dollar. But these are fantastic. Oh, mm, and it was the last one too, so that you know they're better than they usually. Oh, look how soft they are. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know how to, I can't bounce something off of them, but these are cold, so they're not as good as they could be. But look, they're, they're, they're dead. Be, but on the inside, watch. They have, they have like a layer of butter to keep the syrup in. They're absolutely fantastic. Mm. Mm. But I had to get that out of the way. Okay, on today, we test drove the bike some more, and uh, ba -bum, something broke. And you can see that uh, it was a little loose, so I put some hard plastic or um, some hot glue in there. To, to make it a little tighter, but uh, it, it eventually broke off one of the little posts. So, bum, not not to be surprised. I reprinted another one, and it's, it's already on the bike, but uh, that's not the main issue. Because eventually, I can just double up. I'm, I can put, uh, instead of having one, I can put two, so that, it's the, so that there's four screws instead of just the two, and that should even the, the that, that that should lessen the, the stress on each screw, but that's for later. What I saw that needs to be fixed is that this this one is a it's it's a one that it's similar to the one that's on the bike, and it has a joint, and it has a little wheel here. Actually, yeah, that one's this one's supposed to, and it, and it works well. The joint's good, but. And it gets to this point where it's in the ideal angle where there's a ton of friction. It, it it's pushing the wheel right, but it's slipping past plunk. Reducing a lot of the friction, reducing its effectiveness by like 50%. So bad, bad, outstanding, perfect, absolutely ideal. And anything past straight down, it's 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 on the losing end. So we're gonna redesign this guy. And we're gonna put a stopper here at the bottom, so that if by chance it does slip or is trying to slip, it'll have a, a PLA stopper right here to to keep it from going all the way the other direction. If if it doesn't make sense, if you do a few of them, it makes sense, and you can see you, you'll see the video here that the the motor slips past the joint and it it, it starts uh, spinning out more than it should and reducing the traction. So 
This is probably going to get reprinted in the long run, but today I might just put make a small square that I can put here and attach to it somehow to keep the motor from so when it slips it stops at the square instead of slipping all the way past but uh, I'll show you today's clip and we'll, we'll go over some of the issues and uh, please uh, again I'm, I'm really excited about this I enjoy doing this if you have any comments suggestions or questions if you'd like oh try this uh, yesterday I got some good suggestions on trying how to make a PLA a little stronger and they linked me some videos that showed me um, another youtuber that's putting together that's printing out different different uh, samples and testing them out I think the best idea I saw that he baked them for a few minutes where he baked it for like an hour at a certain temperature not hot enough to where it melts but hot enough so that it fuses a little better and I'm thinking of trying that since I plan to work mostly with PLA only because it's accessible to everyone and you don't need the the, the, the high speed controlled environment that you would for ABS or any of the other filaments but uh, yeah, please feel free to ask questions or any, any questions or comments please shoot them this way now another idea comment or suggestion or question that I have is uh, I'm going to work on the next system now I, I, this one still has work to do and of course I'm going to keep working on it and I'm going to get it ideal and it's never going to stop being worked on but I'm thinking of working on the geared, gearing the rim and adding these two guys or putting them together and making a new friction that goes on the tire or a third option. The third option takes more supplies and I don't have what I need but whether we make the geared one with the two on the side by side working on the gear all the way around the rim or we put them together and it spins downward okay my pancake's gonna be my wheel and it's gonna spin downward spinning the tire that way it, it causes a lot of wear and tear on the tire itself and on the motors but it, it's it's fun and it's effective and it's worked it's proven to work a thousand times so uh, a little food for thought i want to do one of those two so go ahead and enjoy the video if you have any comments or questions please leave it below thank you